So we've had the new MacBooks announced at the October Unleashed event. However, there was no sight of the more powerful Mac Mini with those new M1 Pro and M1 Max chipsets. Well today, I want to talk about a new report of when in 2022 we'll be able to get our hands on it. We'll also uncover the Mac Mini M1 Pro and M1 Max release date and price and other expected features. Hi, it's Matt here. So Apple updated the baseline Mac Mini in 2020 with the M1 chipset inside. However, Apple still continue to sell the top range Mac Mini and I'll explain why this is later on in this video. However, for design wise, we haven't actually seen a true redesign to this Mac since 2010 when we went from the kind of plastic design to the full on unibody metal design that we can see here. Shortly after, we had changes like the loss of the CD DVD drive. Then in 2018, we also got a space gray version. However, overall, the design has remained the same for about 10 years now. The great news is Apple are looking to make a whole new design for the Mac Mini based on the renders that you're seeing right here. And also, Apple will be putting in a more powerful Apple Silicon chip than the M1 that we currently have right now. So going forwards for all the new Mac Mini videos like this one, I'm going to be first of all talking about specific features and also maybe talking about some of the latest leaks about those features. Then afterwards I'll talk about the planned release date time and then also we'll also discuss the prices and we'll be doing this by doing a summary of everything we know about the Mac Mini and also everything else that we've learned in previous leaks. Afterwards I'll be revealing my wish list for the next Mac Mini and also put in the comments below of what features you'd love to see in the latest Mac Mini and in my next video I may feature your comment and also discuss my thoughts around it. So let's get started with that new report of when we could possibly get our hands on that next tier more powerful Mac Mini with the M1 Pro and M1 Max inside. So reporters coming from Russ Young who has informed from Mac rumours that the larger iMac will be coming out in early 2022. Now to stick with me with this one this new larger iMac will have the M1 Pro and the M1 Max inside. It is likely that at the same event where they will launch this new iMac, that the new Mac Mini will be launched at the same time. When we think about this, this is very logical because we've just had the Apple Unleashed event where we got the new MacBooks and these are basically considered the laptops or the notebook event. So now it's time for the Pro desktops to get some special treatment in an event. Last year in 2020 in November time, we got the announcement of the brand new M1 chipset and we got the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro included. But then in 2021, at the spring loaded event, we got the redesigned iMac 24 inch model. So if we apply again the same logic, it's very logical that we will see the new larger iMac and also that more spec'd up Mac mini at the event. So a quick note, with any of these leaks, even up to the new Mac Mini release date, that all reports and leaks are not 100% proof that they will come true, and that with the new Mac Mini, I can only present you what I've been told and shown. However, if you are watching this video, then you are as curious as I am in knowing what is going to be said about the next Mac Mini anyway. With that out of the way, here's a quick word from our sponsor for just one minute. Then after, we're going to be talking about the release date, the summary of everything we know so far, and also the price of the Mac Mini. So then guys, just quickly, this channel got over 260,000 subscribers, and I announced who the winner was for this brand new iPad Pro M1. And do check out my video on my channel of who this iPad Pro is going to. But the great news is guys, I am doing another giveaway and it is for this. It is for a brand new iPhone 13 Pro Max 128 gigabyte model in the Sierra Blue. And I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber when we get over 300,000 subscribers. And just like the last giveaway, what I want you guys to do is put down in the comments below of what Apple gear you're planning to buy in 2021 or maybe into 2022. Also at the same time, make sure you subscribe to this button, hit that notification bell, because when we get over 300,000 subscribers, I will be notifying you guys of who the winner is of this brand new iPhone. And just quickly on that, I do want to quickly comment that if you do get a comment to say that you've won or something like this before we hit the 300,000 marker, 
it is probably not me. It is most likely a scammer. And the best way you can tell if this is a scammer or not is basically open up that person's account by open, clicking on their profile and you'll be able to see how many subscribers they got. And if they've got less than 260,000 subscribers, like at the time I'm making this video here, then basically you will know they are not me. Plus, also at the same time as well, they will probably have hardly any videos uploaded and also their account will probably be very, very new. So do ignore these emails or these messages from these people or what you can do is at the same time, you can actually report them to YouTube. But enough of that, like I said, over 300,000 subscribers is the only time I'm gonna be announcing who the winner is of this iPhone 13 Pro Max and that's the only prize I'm gonna be doing between now and then. So make sure you subscribe to this channel Hit that notification bell. Also at the same time guys, if you're liking this video so far, please do press the like button. Well, let's get back to the main video. So release date. We've already spoken about a report from Ross Young on this channel where we've spoken about the specced up larger iMac and the Mac Mini will be coming out in early 2022. But when in early 2022 you may ask? Well again applying the same rules with the M1 chipset where we got a MacBook Air and also that 13 inch MacBook Pro in November 2020 and then we got the new iMac 24 inch model announced in April time in 2021 it's most likely the same case will happen now. So we've just had the new 14 inch and 16 inch MacBook Pros in late 2021 with the M1 Pro and the M1 Max put inside it. So we're expecting the more specced up Mac Mini to be announced in an event in March or April 2022. And this is following the trend of the last 12 months. So based on this, a release date would be very near after this event time. So this could probably be around the end of March time. However, if there is still a chip shortage out there and it's not improved really, then the event might get delayed to April time and we might not be able to get a hand on the Mac Mini until May 2022. However, the moment we hear more updates to the release date, I'll be updating these videos with everything we know. But moving on, let's do a summary of the 2022 Mac Mini is expected to give us and the prices. So as I've already said, a lot of these features and specs are subject to change. But one thing we do know most likely what is going to happen with the new Mac Mini M1X is we're going to be getting a brand new design as you've been watching in these renders here. It's going to be a slimmer Mac Mini and also one of the big top features is it's going to have that new MagSafe power connector on the back similar to the 24 inch iMac that we have right now which just pops straight out so that is really really cool. On top of that as well, inside this Mac Mini, we're going to have the ability to choose from 512 to 8 terabytes of SSD storage. So just to make that clear, that's 512 gigabytes, 1 terabyte, 2 terabytes, 4 terabytes and 8 terabytes of storage. Then on top of that as well, it will have that brand new M1 Pro or M1 Max chipset inside it and this will come with two efficiency cores and eight performance cores we're also expecting this chipset to appear in the likes of the new macbook pros and also that brand new 32 inch imac or imac pro then also for gpu we're expecting either 16 or a 32 core gpu option depending if you pick m1 pro or m1 max so for RAM next, there's going to be a choice between 16 gigabytes to 64 gigabytes of RAM. It's most likely if you choose the bottom range, you'll get that 16 core GPU. But if you pick the higher range, you'll probably get that 32 core GPU. But this hasn't been 100% confirmed yet. But the second it will be, we will update the sheet accordingly. Also with that design, what I talked about, we're going to be getting an aluminium body frame around the edges, what's going to look really, really cool again, just like we have with the current Mac Mini. And then for ports on the back, we're going to be getting four times Thunderbolt 4 ports, and we're also going to be getting two times USB 3.2 ports, the usual sort of USB A design that we get right now, or the usual USB type of port. And then also there will be a 10 gigabyte ethernet, and then there will also be a HDMI port that will support HDMI. 2.1. The starting price for this Mac Mini M1X will start at $1,099 and that will give you a 512GB storage option and also 16 gigs of RAM. Because you can flick and change the amount of storage and RAM and everything else like that, I can't put all the different prices down here, just basically the starting price. 
But moving on, let's talk about my wishes for the Mac Mini, and my wish is to do with the price. Right now, the M1 Mac Mini starts at $699, US but the Intel version, the more higher spec one, starts at $1,099. US My fear is Apple may raise the price of this Mac Mini due to the power you get inside the potential M1X. However, I'm hoping that Apple will retain the price or even better drop the Mac Mini down to $999 US dollars as the M1 Mac Mini was actually $100 cheaper than its older Intel brother in the last generation. However, with a new design and everything, I do not believe this will happen with the higher spec Mac Mini. But those are my thoughts and it is also my current wish for this new Mini. However, let me know your thoughts if you agree with this and also write in the comments below what your wishes would be for the new machine. Well guys, it's time to wrap up this video, so if you have enjoyed watching it, please make sure to like the video and at the same time as well, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please make sure to hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell. Until next time guys, I'll see you soon.